Hello and uh, welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make at home a kind of can of butter uh, for CBD uh, using CBD hemp flour product. Uh, in this case, trim from uh, Honolulu Haze, a, a very, very high CBD um, strain. And uh, could be making it in a simple crock pot with some coconut oil. I'm using Crisco coconut oil today, it's fine. Uh, if you have expensive organic coconut uh, oil, that's even better. Um, and uh, when we're done, we're gonna have uh, a jar with kind of butter in it, and we're gonna be able to uh, scrape off uh, portions, like about a quarter of a teaspoon if one likes, or even a half teaspoon, and put that in hot chocolate or tea. And it's a great way of having CBD. And if you make this can of butter yourself, it can be very, very affordable versus buying, uh, say, a small jar uh, with some CBD in it for a hundred bucks or more. Uh, this will be a matter of a uh, you know three bucks maybe for a, a nice jar that'll uh, keep you going for a month or so in uh, regular doses or a week or so uh, if you're doing very high doses. So anyway. I'm gonna start by uh, preparing this. Uh, this is Honolulu Hayes trim, so it's the fan leaves mostly uh, from the plant. And these are the whole leaves that have been dried and now I'm gonna to have to somehow grind them up. At first, you know, if you've got the time, I'm gonna show you, you can just stick it in your grinder and grind it by hand. Uh, this takes a little bit of time uh, it's a pleasant task though if, if you want to do that and also you can take out bits of stem for example stem can go whole into the uh, into the crock pot and so nothing is wasted uh, because every plant part here uh, will have CBD in it and we would like to extract it uh, into the oil medium in this case coconut oil you can do it with butter uh, I prefer coconut oil uh, I find it a more neutral flavor, so the, then the resulting can of butter can be used in a great variety of ways. So anyway, as you see, I've ground it and I can add it to fill my cup. Uh, but in this case, I'm going to use uh, a special coffee grinder, or grinder that I picked up at a yard sale. Still got the sticker for $2.25 uh, and just give it a few seconds uh, of pulsing on that and fill my cup. And uh, if I see any obvious stems, I'll pull them out. And as I say, we'll throw those whole. And of course, we will strain all the plant materials after it's been cooked for a while in the crock pot so that then we just get the liquid uh, at room temperature liquid, if we put it in the fridge, it solidifies uh, into a more sort of waxy, buttery consistency. It's, it's definitely solid, but it's not hard to use with a knife or a spoon. Anyway, uh, I'll pop it on and give it, I believe, about six seconds. We'll check that. Yes, this would be about perfect. Let's see if I can show it to you here. It will be a, a fairly fine powder. Uh, in fact, I could even go maybe a second less. This might even be finer than I want because um, depending on how fine your grind is, uh, it's gonna have that much more CBD per volume. So anyway, We'll be right back as soon as I'm done all the grinding and we'll go on to the next step. Hello, well, that was easy. Uh, only took a couple of moments. Uh, I am back and I'm going to put in one cup of ground uh, Honolulu Haze CBD hemp flour trim, uh, which is mostly fan leaves, but there's plenty of CBD in that. I've ground it one cup and now I'm going to add one cup of coconut oil. In this case, plain old Crisco coconut oil that I get from a local supermarket in the Midwest and it works just fine. If you have better, then it will be even better. You know, it's all good.
This is, of course, slightly trickier and more awkward than one would hope. It's not too bad. I'll be done the task in no time, although it takes a bit of strength. So if you haven't got much strength in your arms, you probably want to get a friend to do this for you. So, I'm going to keep the spoon handy because I'll use it for frequently stirring the, uh, the can of butter over the next uh, four to five hours as it cooks. Now I'm going to start off, this crock pot has basically two temperatures, uh, low and high. I'm going to turn it on to high. First I'm going to plug it in and unplug my grinder, lest I lose my fingers. I shall set this on high for 15 minutes and I'm going to set my oven timer for that. And uh, in the meantime, I'll probably walk by every couple of minutes and as the uh, coconut oil liquefies, I can then stir the plant matter into it so we get a uniform sludge. Uh, and after 15 minutes on high, I will come back and turn it on to low and then set my timer for one hour and every hour I will come and give it a really good stir otherwise keep the pot on you will begin to smell uh, of course this wonderful can of butter uh, the more that you do this the more you learn exactly what for you is the sweet spot for when it's done and it will depend on the plant materials you're using whether it's uh, pure flour or trim or a mix uh, and uh, if you're grinding it how uh, recently you ground it um, how fresh it is uh, it'll also depend on what you are using the CBD for uh, I have my own particular needs and so I gear mine uh, the, my preparations to my needs this particular thing that I'm making today is going to be extremely strong because uh, one cup of ground uh, plant material will be correspondingly uh, stronger than unground plant material because of course there's more air uh, between the bits of plant material uh, if you don't grind it. So anyway this is how to make really really strong can of butter but uh, this is a pretty large quantity a cup of uh, coconut oil and it should last you know two to three weeks at least and that's for very very uh, strong dosages so anyway uh, I will be back in a moment to show you how to process it when we've gotten to the end uh, determining mainly by smell but you can go if you actually have to just draw the line somewhere you can either make it four or five hours uh, uh, four will uh, taste just a slightly more astringent because you'll uh, taste uh, uh, the oil more the the slight bitterness of the oils but uh, if you go to five there's the risk of you know slight burntness so you really have to go by your nose and uh, a few times of doing it you'll learn exactly the sweet spot so anyway we'll be back when I go to the next stage of processing Hi. well we're back it's uh, five hours later and uh, every hour I've been stirring the uh, the coconut oil and hemp mixture and then I turned it off once it was ready and it smelled beautiful and now I've uh, let it sit for uh, almost a couple hours so it's cool enough to pour I'm going to have something to pour it into uh, and then I'm going to use a funnel and also a sieve so that we get the oil going through the sieve and we keep the plant material which we will eventually throw out because we've extracted all the goodies from it but we're going to do a lot here to extract everything that we can possibly get out of it and there we go I'm going to use my spoon just to press a little bit so I can get the oil coming through And this is the easy part, 
uh, the first bit of oil that you get. Here, I'm going to show you quite a bit of beautiful, rich, green, luscious. It's dark, it's creamy, it's, it's got all the good stuff that you want. And I'm going to put that in a jar. And that's a, a little over half of what we're going to get. That was the easy way. And now as you can see, beautiful stuff. Uh, you put it in the fridge, it solidifies, but I'm going to add more onto this by extracting more and we'll show you some of the techniques. First way is just physically pressing. Uh, you see the, the sludge here is quite mucky, uh, but it's got lots and lots of uh, very rich uh, CBD infused oil. And so I'm going to Pour it in and press it and pour it and press it and pour it and press it and then uh, I'll give you a chance to have a break and we'll come back when we've got the next step. Okay we're back. What we're going to do now, having already gotten a very nice um, uh, production here of can of butter that's currently in liquid form, so it looks like oil, uh, and we've got this muck that was the plant material that uh, had the CBD extracted from it. And then there was the mess in the crock pot that has a lot of oil and bits of plant matter stuck to the side. Taking some boiling water, just boil it right up and have uh, put it in the crock pot and stirred everything up uh, to get the, the oil and bits off the side and have set this strainer up in a nice container and what I'm going to do is extract even more uh, CBD out of what we uh, were working with by taking this boiling water from the crock pot where it's mixed with the stuff and pouring it very very gently and very slowly through that little strainer and we're going to get a liquid in this uh, container at the end that is a mixture of oil and water essentially um, the the uh, cannabis or rather the uh, hemp infused oil um, and water which we will then put in the fridge and the oil will have solidified on the top and you can just pull it off with a spoon and put it in a jar And what, what it looks like when it's ready is uh, these flakes. As you can see, they're, they're flakes of the coconut oil, the, the can of butter. And you can eat it just like that. I'm gonna eat some there and put it under your tongue or just eat it. Uh, you can also use it in the same way that you use can of butter by putting on top, floating it on top of some nice warm tea or hot chocolate. And we'll show you how to do that later. So uh, we'll be getting the flakes from this uh, after it goes in the fridge for a while to cool down. And then also the liquid at the bottom, the water that's been through the crock pot, it's been through this sludge to get the most out. It's water that has had the, uh, the fat removed in the fridge, but it's still got lots of CBD in it and lots of really good flavor. And you can just heat it up as a tea and drink it just as a tea and, and it's absolutely delicious and filled with CBD. You can also melt some flakes in. So thanks a lot. Hope that helps and we'll see you next time. Bye.